Welcome to part 10 of Let's Play Resident Evil Director's Cut. Let's continue the game. Okay, in the last part I was just about to reach the underground laboratory. Let's explore there. Alright, load game. Mm, um, I was also hoping that the two MO discs I don't have are in the underground laboratory as well. Um, because um, I haven't found them yet, or I haven't found uh, the second one yet, which is, uh, uh, which is in the underground tunnel section um, in the original game, I think. Anyway, uh, you have once again entered the world of survival horror. Good luck. Okay, so we need the uh, um, we need the eagle medal, don't we? So let's get that out. Yep, there it is. Good. Slightly worried there that I wouldn't have it, but uh, it's still there. Okay. Um, yeah, and we have the P room key, which is uh, obviously a replacement for the MO disc, which is in here in the original game. So we have the P room key already. Uh, but the uh, the two MO discs must be in the underground laboratory because um, I don't know where else they could be. <clears throat> okay, so um, we've already put the wolf medal in the uh, in the fountain thing. So all we have to do now is all we have to do now is leave and go to the lab. Okay, we picked up the herbs, didn't we? So, um, so we don't need to do that. So, all we need to do is put the is put the eagle medal in here, and then that's the end of that. Uh, okay, Your Majesty, where is it? Must be here. Come on. Right, it must be the other one. I must have put it in the wrong one. Yeah, it must be in there. Uh, it must be in this one. Okay, All right, this is uh, slightly irritating. Come on, must be this one. All right, thank you. How come I couldn't put it in there before? Uh, must have been a millimeter to the left or right or something. Really particular this game. Okay, right now that that's in, uh, the medal is in place. Anyway, now that that's in, we can go down to the lab. Yep, just go in there. Oh yeah, he walks in automatically, and then down the stairs automatically. Okay, go inside the lift, which must have loads of algae in it, because it was just underwater a minute ago. Very slippery. And here we are. Right. Right. So these doors only open once the emergency starts. The door is tightly locked. There's a plate on on right hand side. They haven't. Uh, uh, they missed out the indefinite article. Um, em emergency exit will not open unless under first class emergency. Emergency exit. Right. Okay. Okay. Let's go down the the ladder. What's this business? Absolutely nothing. Right. There's a ladder, will you descend it? Yes. Okay, so hopefully there will still be uh, zombies down here, not anything nastier. Oh yeah, not in there just yet. Um, I always forget there's an item box here. Um, no, nah, we shouldn't need anything. Oh good zombies, let's take care of them since we have loads of handgun. Oh. Come on, headshot. Thank you. Right. Let's reload. We have loads of this handgun, so we might as well use it up on these zombies. No, you're going to get up again, aren't you? 
Maybe, I don't know. Oh, maybe he really is dead. Right, okay, let's take care of him. Good, right. Alright, so we have the P room key. This one's locked over here, isn't it? Because we um, need to do the old uh, computer puzzle. It's electronically locked. Right, is the MO disc in here? And no, it's now the the, uh, the slides. So, I don't know where the MO disc is. Uh, but we have the slides. Oh, oh yeah, there's two herbs there. For some reason I completely missed them. Right. Were they there before? I can't remember. I think they were. Alright, um... I better put these herbs away. I know that one wants to bite my ankles, but he's not going to. Do I need the slides? I can get them out later, because I won't be going in that room. I think that room is, is locked with electronically lock, um, with an electronic lock, so I can put the slides away and use that later. Let's put these herbs away, because I'm running low on herbs. Um, put this away. I don't need the MO disc, and I'll do that. Okay, let's go. Okay, that's those zombies disappeared, so even if that one wanted to bite my ankles, he can't now because he's gone. Let's go down the stairs. Right, there'll be a few zombies down here, or something worse, maybe, I don't know. There's that spooky music, and it is zombies, might as well kill this one. Good, right. I think these ones reset, don't they? That doesn't matter. I'll just run past them. Right, this is the one that's yeah, has two doors. I think this one's locked, isn't it? Yeah, electronically locked. That's where Jill is. We need the uh, MO discs for that. It's locked. A passcode panel. You don't have the passcode. Okay. Yeah, so we need the other two MO discs. Uh, discs before we uh, muck around with that. We have um, 54 handgun rounds left. We've used 17 since the beginning of the video because we had 71. Okay. Oh. Yes, come on. Oh, I thought we were going to get up now. Uh, yeah, this is the puzzle room, but, you know, uh, the puzzle is... Uh, uh, the answer to the puzzle is um, Mole. Yeah, the password's Mole, and the uh, username is Ada or something. John, Ada, then Mole, that's it. Uh, anyway, that's that, right. You need to turn the lights on. Let's turn the lights on. There's a switch, will you push it? Yes. Right. Okay, is that done? Uh, don't walk over the zombie. It seems someone used this only recently. How do you get past the zombie, then? Okay, what's in the box? We have some handgun ammo. Good. All right, so that's um, 62 rounds we have now. Something else in here? Yeah, it was a blue herb, I think. Right. No, it's a green herb, even better, good. No, but, um, I would have picked it up um, had it been a, a blue one. And what's on this? Oh yeah, researcher's letter. June the 8th, 1998. Dear Ada, um, Ada, by the time you read this, I'll be something different. Uh, today's test turned out to be positive, just as I expected. I feel like going crazy when I think about becoming one of them. Um, Ada, you're not infected, and I hope you never will be. In case you're the last one left, take the material in the visual data room and go to the power room to operate the triggering system before you escape and make all this public th through the media. Um, if everything is in order, all the locks can be opened by the security system. You can access the system if you log in with my name from the terminal in the small lab and enter the password. The password is your name. Okay, so his name's John. We'll find out at the end. His name's John. Her, her name's Ada, so that's the... That's the password. Now, the password is your name. To unlock the door at B2, where the visual data room is located, you'll need to access with our names first and then enter another password. 
I've written the code below, I'm sure you'll understand it easily. And this is my last hope. If you find me completely changed, please kill me yourself. Exit password, weird symbols. Um, yours, John. Yeah, so it's John, then Ada, and the password is Mole. Now, now those letters, if you haven't seen my original, um, the playthrough I did of the original game, uh, those letters correspond, to, uh, a researcher's letter has been filed. Um, John, Ada, yeah, I know. Okay, so to, um, so to get the password, if you don't know it, which is Mole, it's always Mole, uh, to move that out of the way, there's another light switch here. There's a switch, will you push it? Yes. And then that makes it all go blue, like ultraviolet or something. And then read this, and it says tree, apple, man, and then woman. So it's labelled as well to make it easy. Anyway, so... Um, there's a switch, will you push it? Yeah. Uh, turn it off, and then you'll see that the... Yeah, um, and it would have been these symbols before, but yeah, then it turns into those weird symbols. <coughs> so uh, then you know what the symbols mean. So you can work out from the... Um, from the researcher's letter, <coughs> yeah, this one, <coughs> pardon me, uh, you can work out, blah, 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 yeah, that, um, that the first symbol is an M, the second symbol is an O, the third one is an L, and the one that looks like an M is actually an E, and you can work that out um, from um, looking at these, because you know that the, the thing on the top left is a tree, there's a woman, there's a man, and there's a... Um, and there's an apple, so you can work out what um, you can work out that the symbols correspond to which letters. And there's one, and and all the letters you need are um, are on there. So there's an M in woman um, at, at the bottom there. There's a, yeah, there's an E in the tree, so you know that the thing that looks like an M is actually an E. There's an O in woman as well. Um, so the, so the, at the bottom there it says woman. And the uh, and the L is um, is an apple, so uh, that's in the word on the top right there. So you can work it out from there that the password's mole, and it makes sense as well because he was a mole because he was sort of like giving information away. Anyway, so you don't need to do it. Uh, you don't need to do that or come in this room if you know the password already because it never changes between scenarios. Um, and in the director's cut, it's still the same. It's still mole. So that's that. It's always John, Ada, and mole. Yeah, so yeah, um, right, now that we have that, let's go to another room. We can't get in the other room in this place, in this corridor, because of the electronic lock, which we have to uh, unlock. But now, uh, now we know the password officially. Right, that zombie hasn't come back yet. Oh, another one there. Let's kill him. Oh no, it's two. It's two, it's two, it's two, it's two. Phew. Yeah, I didn't think there was one there. I thought there was only one there, because one was blocking the other. Oh no. Oh dear, this is a precarious situation. Nope, not auspicious. There we go, good. Uh, that wasn't an auspicious situation. This one will be locked because it's locked on the other side. Yeah, it's locked on the inside. That's the... You have used the P-Room key. That's what we need the P-Room key for. So we don't need that anymore, which is good. It's a horrible noise that gives you a shock when you first uh, use the key, though. But anyway, now go in here. The zombies are still walking around. They do respawn eventually. Um, I'm pretty sure they do. I think I had this discussion in the last, in the normal game, didn't I? Right, these ones don't, though, so I can kill these now. Come on. Yes. Come on. Can you give me a headshot? No. And it went down again after I did a... Yeah, so I wasted a bullet again. It always does that. It's really annoying. Uh, he, um, he's getting back up again in a sec, so I'll just wait for him. Really annoying in this game. Well, just in, I mean, all of Resident Evil games. Oh, good. That um, there, there aren't sort of weapons that don't use ammo apart from the weak knife. Uh, you know, in Silent Hill, you get the pipe and everything. I wish there were those sort of weapons in this game, more powerful sort of knives and stuff. Like, where is he? Oh, there he is. Oh, good. I'm glad I went forward. Come on. Good. Right. That's that. That's those two dead. All right, there's a save room in there, but I don't really need to go in there just yet. So let's go in here first and sort this puzzle room out. All right, there's a red herb on here, which is handy. I'm glad I noticed that. It's quite well hidden. We take the red herb. It's good because I can combine that with the green immediately and make a full heal, which is nice. Thank you. All right. And let's sort the rest of this place out. Um, some shotgun shells on there. Let's nab them. <coughs> yeah, there's no point using the sh um, wasting the shotgun when you have the handgun, especially the handgun in this game where it gives headshots. So um, if you have loads of bullets, just waste them on this place, really. 
Right, don't press on the um, don't walk on the switch in the middle because that will make the gas come out. Now you need to put the the boxes over the air vent things on the right of the switch, on the left and right of the switch there. To, uh, so you can climb up there, but if you push the stairs on there now, then the gas will come out. Um, yeah, when it hurts, I think it makes your health go down like poison. So you need to uh, push the boxes over the air vents, and for some reason that's really airtight. Pushing boxes, they're perfectly flat on the bottom, um, and then you can climb the push the ladder on the switch with ease, and then you can walk out, and then you can climb up the ladder, and then and then go in the next room, which was locked from the inside, um, which we just saw a minute ago. Okay, now we need to push the uh, the ladder, not the ladder. Have I been calling it the ladder? Um, I meant the staircase. Yeah, push the, uh, the staircase over there a bit so you can a little bit more. There we go. <coughs> it's a little bit easier with this camera angle, I must say. It's different camera angle in, in the director's cut. <coughs> anyway, push the staircase, not the ladder. Have I, did, did I just call it ladder again? I can't remember. Anyway, so push the staircase. Um, Slightly over there, but not on the switch just yet, because you want to push it. Um, no, but not push it any further. Um, we need to push this a little bit that way, so we can push it a bit from um, from this angle. Uh, it's a little bit awkward, this. Um... I'm going to have to push this all the way over here, aren't I? Because, yeah, just push it there. Leave that there for a sec. I'm going to have to push the box all the way to the other, the other side. I've sort of mucked this up slightly. Yeah, push this to the other side. Then we can push it. There we go. And I don't know why I pushed the, the staircase that way. Because now I, to, now I have to push it back. I've sort of mucked this up slightly. I'm getting confused. I'm going slightly senile. Right, okay. Um... Now what do we need to do? Uh, do, 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 do? Let's push this back over here. No, push this. No, we won't be able to push that, will we? Um, okay, I'm going to push this back. I need to push the, the staircase all the way to the right, don't I? Don't know why I'm finding this so difficult. Yeah. That's it, yeah. Leave enough room so I can push it back. <clears throat> then... Now, can I move that? No. No, I need to push it back. Okay, now let's push it... Uh, now, now let's push it up a bit. Really, I'm making a pig's ear of this. Right, slightly more. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's where we want it. Good. Now I can push this on the air vent nicely. That's it. Good. Yeah. Now we can push the staircase onto the switch. So when it presses it, the gas won't come out. Because we need the staircase to climb into the air vent. A little bit to the right. Slightly more. There we go, lovely. Haha. -ha. Right. Now let's go in here. There's an air shaft. Will you enter it? Yes. Oh, uh, okay, air shaft, not air vent then. Okay, so we're in here now. Oh no! God, didn't see him there. Get off! Ah, oh, gave me a shock. I did not see him. That's a very cleverly placed zombie. I did not see him, and now we're in damned caution. Damn, they hurt. God, that was a very uh, um, well played game. That was a that really did get me. Well done. Right. Okay. So so we have here some more magnum rounds. It was worth it though for the magnum rounds. God, that gave me a shock, just like the crows did in the last video. Now, is there anything else here? Right, um, there's another zombie there, we'll leave him, because you know what happens to him. And, uh, we need the MO disc, don't we? It's a passcode output machine, yeah, I need, uh, I need the MO disc. 
So I'll have to come back here. At least I can unlock the... Uh, uh, is there anything beyond him? <clears throat> Might as well kill him. Nope, for some reason I twisted right there. Uh, he's off. Right. Now let's see if I can get round him without wasting the bullets. No, it's too risky because he could kill me. No, I just run round him. Anything? Nope, nothing. What does he say about the corpse? Nothing. This place seems to be a morgue. Okay, well, we can still get round him because he's, he's on the move now. Uh, but his friend's dead. Okay, so you unlocked it. Okay, so now let's go to the... Let's go to the save room and get the MO disc and sort this out now. I might as well. There we go. Still no sign of the other two MO discs. Slightly concerned. And I might have missed one. Oh no! Another zombie. Go away. Good. Right, what's over here? Oh yeah, that place. Don't want to deal with that yet. Okay, the other... Yeah, the, there's another passcode machine in there, but that's where the chimeras are. I don't want to go in there until a bit later, until I have to. Right. I can't believe that zombie, then. Yeah, the ankle biter took off so much health. I was on green fine, wasn't I? Right, there's some more magnum rounds here. That's good. That can go on the other item slot. Doesn't matter now, though, but... Oh, well. Okay, what do we have here? We have... Another ink ribbon, that's nice, good. Uh, herb there. Let's put this put this stuff away. Uh, let's put the uh, health away. Health away, I got. Where's the magnum rounds? Oh, they're at the top, aren't they? Yeah. Um, let's combine them. There we go, nice load of magnum rounds. Let's, let's put them away, get the ink ribbon out, and uh, sort that out. Let's get the, uh, the shells out as well, deal with that. Let's combine them. Okay, put that away. And we need some health, don't we? Um. Health do I have? Two first aid sprays, two greenies I picked up, and <coughs> loads of blues that I don't need. Right, we need the MO disc, might as well sort that out now. Yeah. Uh, anything else in here actually? Oh, yeah, there's that another blue herb here. Is that another greenie on the right of me? Yes, it is. Good, I'll pick that up. That's one I nearly missed, isn't it, in the last game? I mean, in the original version. Um, I might as well use the greenie now. Yeah, puts you in yellow fine. No, oh no, it's put me in green fine. Uh, it must have been in pretty low. Uh, I was either in high, high orange caution, or really low uh, green fine when that zombie got me. Right, let's put the the bluey away because we don't need that. There we go. Okay, anything else in here? It's not going to be an ink ribbon, is there? Because I just picked one up, didn't I? Right, let's go and sort the MO disc out. Did I actually get it out? I bet I didn't get it out, did I? And I did... Yes, I actually did. Amazing. Right. Okay, let's go back in the... <coughs> let's go back in here and explore the other door in here. Let's sort the MO disc out. I wonder if that zombie's reset to not moving. I hope so, because I have to avoid him. Oh, there's another one there. Uh, they always sound like ducks walking. So, you know, not, no, not ducks. Um, people with scuba diving f flippers on walking, that's what they sound like. Oh good, he's not moving again, he's, he, um, he's reset. Let's use the MO disc, there we go. Passcode 2, and it's, I will surely bless you and make your descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as the sand on the seashore. Your descendants will take possession of the cities of their enemies. Uh, Genesis chapter 22, verse 17. Okay, passcode 2 has been filed, okay. Right, it's that one done then. You can use the MO discs. You can use uh, you, you can use any of the MO discs on any of the machines, I think. But once you use the machine, it can't be used for the other MO discs. We have to find the other two machines. But at the moment, we need the two MO discs really. Right. There's one over here. Let's, let's just kill this one. Yep. 
Uh, let's, let's just go, because uh, I think they reset. Oh no, phew. Right, let's go in here. Yeah, there's no point killing them properly, because they do reset. Alright, we're in here now. Uh, starting to run low on bullets. Um, what's in here? What's this? Anything? Yep, it's something. It's oh, good. It's the other MO disc, or, or, um, or one of them anyway. So good. That's that's excellent. Excellent. Good. I'm glad I, I'm glad I saw that. It was difficult to see. Good. All right. Anything in the box? Nothing special. Okay. Nope. Nothing there. Good. I found the uh, one of the MO discs. Just one more then. Well, I'm hoping there's one more in here. Okay, let's do the computer. Might as well do this now. This computer is used to open the electronic locks. Will you turn it on? Yes. Right. How many times can you read umbrella in this screen? One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> Everything says umbrella. Even the bottom of the monitor. Uh, the base of the monitor. I mean, I understand that the computer tower saying it, the keyboard saying it, and the monitor saying it, and the monitor screen saying it, but uh, 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 but why the base of the monitor? Anyway, login is uh, John. I like how his hand isn't actually moving, it's just sort of, you know, it's just sort of pressing randomly, and then press enter. Password is Ada. I don't think they'd allow that password anymore because it's too small. You know, if you try to put a password that's only three characters long, it'll say, "Oh no, you have to put it has to have uh, at least six characters. No, at least eight characters. One of which has to be a number. One of which has to be a capital letter. One of which has to be a weird character like an exclamation point." But yeah, they wouldn't allow Ada. Yeah, let's get on with it. Come on. Basement door lock operation select four uh, floor rather and um, B two accessing uh, permission denied try enter password trying try to enter the password password is mole as we know uh, let's bung that in and then that's it good. Verified, yep, good. Always mole. And he's really happy that the basement 2 is unlocked. And let's unlock the basement 3. No password to put in because we've already done it. Accessing. Yay, really happy. Yes, the thumbs up from Chris for that one. And that's that. And then let's cancel and get out of here. Quit, yes. Turn off the computer because we're eco-friendly, yeah, like the hunter from earlier, and then that's that. Excellent. All right, so now we've done that, we can leave here now. All right, now, now I want to go in the in one of the rooms that I electronically locked. I think I'll. Oh, God damn it! Let's kill this one. Let's go quickly. Good catching up on me. Uh, yeah, the other one's unlocked, isn't it? Yeah, I should run past this one. Good. Alright, how much item space do we have? I'll just go in here, and then I'll go and save the game. Yeah, the other one up the stairs is unlocked as well, but, that, uh, but for that one I think I need the slide, so I'll do that one later. I think the P room key is in there as well. Well, in the um, original game, if I remember. Right, let's go in here. Yeah, um, um, and then we'll save the game. Loads of zombies in here. Oh my god, holy hell. Right, this is a. I'm gonna have to run back for the shotgun. The handgun can't handle this, and they really hurt. I'm gonna have to run back for the shotgun. This is, That's really stupid. There are five of them in there. Um, yeah, I'll have to run back for the shotgun. That's really stupid. I think I tried that in the last in the last game, didn't I? And I tried taking them all out with the handgun, and uh, um, and they overwhelmed me a bit. So I'll have to go back for the shotgun. 
I have loads of it anyway. Um, I might as well use the shotgun from now on, to be honest, because because I have loads of it anyway. Uh, no, it's not that one, is it? It's the next one. Yeah, I think I tried it in the original game, trying to take those zombies out with a handgun, and I, I think I got bitten, which I, which I can't risk in this one, because I'm running low on health items, and uh, they really hurt, as, as you know. Um, right, let's change the shotgun for the shells. There we go. Yeah, we have 46 shells. That's loads. Right. Really don't, uh, really don't want to lose any unnecessary health in this game. I was tempted to take them out actually with the handgun. I sort of, I was half tempted to reset the room and then, uh, and then go back in again. But I don't think I would have had enough bullets. Maybe I maybe would have run out of bullets. So it's, it's best if I just run back for the shotgun. Right. I'll have to take this one out. Now. Right. Okay, round two. Now, uh, now we've come prepared. I should have known, really. I um, shouldn't be walking around with a handgun at this stage of the game, anyway. Especially when I'm low on it. But I thought I'd use it up a bit. Right, what's this business? It's it's a fax to General Manager of Sanitation Division from Special Committee on Disasters Raccoon Special Research Department. Uh, this memorandum is strictly confidential and must be destroyed as soon as it is understood. Uh, regarding the T-virus outbreak which occurred recently, I think occurred as two hours, um, this committee um, this committee conducted a field survey. According to the survey results, estimates on the amount of damage caused by the accident are considerably greater than reported earlier. First, um, although it is very difficult to obtain accurate data in terms of actual numbers, it is thought that more than half of the researchers died after exposure to the T virus. This, um, the body, the body count will most likely increase since nearly all of the survivors show symptoms peculiar to the T-virus. I think they mean particular. I think I said that in the last, in the original game as well. Um, second, our security system is still in operation. However, our special security guard squad has been nearly destroyed. Uh, because of that, research information considered by our company to be top secret has been made available to outsiders. Countermeasures should be taken as soon as possible. Finally, many of the subjects from the experiments have escaped and are out of control. Um, we believe that some researchers were killed by these subjects and their bodies were mutilated. By curious coincidence, uh, these events are proof of the success of our research. However, there is also a very high risk that this news may be leaked to the press if we don't act immediately. Uh, the condition is very serious. Our operation to cover up the situation is difficult to attain. However, w I, mean, um, I think I mean maintain. Um, however, we hope the problem will be solved quickly. We are especially concerned that the state police and stars are intervening too quickly. Um, we need to act on this situation as well. Fax has been filed. Okay, let's take this one out. Yes, come on. There you go, no head for you. You're the only one that's lost his head. Right. I think there's another uh, passcode machine in here, isn't there? Careful, these zombies they might still be active. Uh, anything in here? Most of them are fiction books. Oh, that, uh, well, yeah, thank God for that. I was about to say, I've just run over the head. Uh, nothing special. Alright, another one of these. It's a passcode output machine. Yes, MO disk. Yep. There we go. So we just need one more MO disk and then uh, and one more machine. Passcode 01. Uh, I swear by myself, declares the Lord, that because you have done this and have not withheld your son, your only son, uh, Genesis chapter 22, verse 16. Passcode 01 has been filed. That's that. Good. Anything in the boxes? Cardboard and posters, nothing useful. Nope. No, there's nothing there. Let's get out of here. Excuse me one moment. Sorry about that. Right, okay, with that done, um, let's go and save the game. 
Oh, whoops, that was the wrong way. Um, well, let's go and save the game. We still need to explore upstairs, but we need the slides for that. And then we need to do the um, uh, the the room with the chimeras in it. Um, in there is um, a door to the room that has the last passcode machine. So I think it's best if I go upstairs first, because the, the last MO disc might be there. So... Unless it's in the room with the chimeras, I don't know. It might be. Um, yep. Yeah, so in the next video I'll be going upstairs first, then going in the power room, which is convenient because I hate going in that power room place. Well, I think it's the, well, the factory sort of, I don't really know what to call it, but... Um, machine room or whatever. Um, because I, I hate the chimeras. Anyway, um, no, we don't want to put that away. We need the ink ribbon. Let's get the slides out now as well. Might as well get them out now in readiness. Yep. And the ink ribbon. Yep. Alright, let's save the game and that's it. Okay. In the next video, I should be able to complete the game. Save over this one, yep. Okay, thank you for watching, and goodbye.